You want a buttload of runes and fast? You've come to the right place, my friend. I know there's a lot of videos out there that go over specifically like how to get a certain item, like the Golden Scarab, which I'll be going over, or where to farm, but I kind of wanted to create a one-stop shop that shows you where to get the items, where to farm for the items, and where to farm your runes. So stick around, or don't. I don't know, it's your life. But seriously, stick around. And if this video helped you out at all, please uh, pop me a like and, and a subscribe. <laughs>
because it looks delicious. You can buy them from various vendors, which you can check the links down in the description. I'm going to have a link for every item down there that I mentioned here. So you can look this stuff up yourself if you're having troubles finding it, blah, 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 blah. But you can buy these from vendors, but they're only at limited quantity. And normally it's three. But you can also craft them. You're going to need roa fruit. We're going to need four tile foul foots. And you're going to need gold fireflies. More specifically about the gold fireflies, if you want, I can give you my secret spot. I know I'm giving away all the information. It's going to be down to the Weeping Peninsula. And you're going to find the Tomes word. Grace, that's at the very south, right? And then there is a lake right here where you just run from here, run all the way around, grab them. There's like eight or 10. And then you just reset just by teleporting back. Boom, farm those. But how do you get the fouled foots? Well, that's why I'm at this location. At the coastal cave. This is really close to the beginning of the, the game. Church of Ella's right here. You just got to drop down this bad boy. And once you find this coastal cave, you're going to want to run out, which we're going to do now with our light. God, I love the starlight spell. How do you guys love the starlight spells? What's your favorite spells in the game? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some interaction. Why don't you? Thanks, guys. Right when you run out, you're going to want to head to the right, which is more specifically to the north. Use your compass, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is the area that I went through and farmed. The first thing is kill this turtle. This turtle was talking crap. He's got to go. This is also a, a material to build uh, exalted flesh, which give you increased melee damage, which can help you out on some fights that you're struggling on. But, you know, it's just something to kill on the way. Now, this is the first location. This isn't the best people to kill for it. The rest are going to be down at the shore where I'm looking. But if you happen to also have, we don't want to go too crazy on this, some silver pickled foul foot. This increases your discovery, which means more stuff drops. I have found that these people actually do drop the foul foots that you're looking for. But through like 10 runs I did without it, I think only like two of them dropped. So you can completely skip this area if you so choose. We'll let these birds live for now. But we're gonna head over to the right. Again, we're heading more north. We're gonna come across the first section where we gotta kill these birds. These birds look like uh, penguins, I guess. I don't know. Now it's gonna be best to take these out with range attacks. And here's something that's interesting if you're a spellcaster or an astrologer like myself. Wow best class in the game right if you shoot something like a glintstone pebble a single target attack it's for some reason alerts the bird and they run what if you use an aoe spell like glintstone arc for some reason it doesn't it is what it is if you're a melee character it's going to be a little bit hard to try to kill all of them all the time they're going to get away sometimes so i suggest using a bow but just to finish off this run you find two here in the middle then you're going to cut left find these three right here one homie there Two homies here. And then through. Grab one more. And then three. There they be. So you've got yourself the golden scarab. Nice. That's going to give you 20%. Then you've got the ability to have your golden foul foot, which, you know, you'll probably want to put that in your equipment bar so you can just scroll to it and click it. That'll give you 30%. That's 50%. We're nuts. But, you know, we got to find a place to actually use it. Where do we go? First location is going to be all the way up here. But how do you get up there? What if you're all the way at the beginning? You're like, I can't get over there, Kami. How do I get over there? Well, I'll tell you. You go to the third church of Marika. Now, I actually went over this in a previous video, so I should have a video popping up around now because I'm a professional YouTuber linking you to the video and how to get there. But I'll go over it again in case you just want to watch. You know, you just watch both of them. All right. Do it, do it now. Touch the cow. All right. From this grace, we're going to head north through this little gap in the wall. Jump over these rocks. As I said in the previous video, these rocks are lame. You're going to see some white fuzzy stuff. I don't know what I always want to call it. Yeah, travel to another location. There we go. Once you spawn, you're going to want to go down the stairs. There's usually a big old dude right there, right? But I killed him because I'm bigger and I'm badder. And I'm just, I'm that cool. Yep. You're just going to follow this road all the way down until you find the grace. Now that you're at this grace, you just run around and kill all the homies here. You can find your best route. If you want to know my specific route that I ran, which is catered to more spellcasters slash long range. You can check out that video that I referenced earlier. And it's good runes, but there's one that's comparable and much easier, especially if you're a melee person that has to sneak up and it really slows it down. And I'll show you how to get to it. From the grace, we're gonna go up and then to the right, head east. You made it, congratulations. Take a load off, eat some crackers, do whatever you wanna do. But when you're ready to get the rune farming started, head west and hop on your mount. We're going to go make a boulder spawn and then have it roll off the cliff and then laugh at it. But you have to specifically laugh at it or you don't get the runes. That's kind of true, but also not true. So right around this area, you see this rock. If you go a little bit farther, a boulder is going to spawn. You're going to try to make it fall off that area. There's a lot of things to tell you exactly how to do it. But honestly, it's pretty lenient. It fell off. 2342 runes. There's things about locking onto it, rolling, blah, 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 blah. But just from what I found, you just want to 
walk alongside it as soon as it spawns do a u-turn sprint and then double jump right when you think it's about to go there's a little bit of a timing a little bit but it's pretty lenient just make sure you watch it fall i mean you have to look in the general direction because in this game for some reason if you don't look at it it doesn't give you the runes lame and you just open up your map teleport back boop 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 and the last place this one is nutters there's a little bit of lead up to it and you're gonna have to go all the way down to the rose church again i'll zoom out so you can see where it's at and then zoom back in. The closest grace is the Fallen Runes of the Lake. Let's go ahead and grab that. We marked it up and we're rolling out. I can't go over too much how to do it. I mean, I can, right? No, it's, I'm going to make a guide for you guys, but I can't go over too much in detail on how to do it. No, I'm going to go over how to do it, but I can't show you doing it because I already did it. I done did it. And as you run into the entrance of the church, you're going to find a homie here. He's going to be right here. I promise you. And you're going to talk to him. And you go, yo, what up? And all you have to do is he wants you to invade three different worlds. And he'll give you some festering fingers. I'm sure you probably have come across some festering fingers over the time of playing the game. But they look a little something like this. Festering bloody fingers. Attempt to invade a person's world. And you have to be online, obviously. Which I'm not online. But once you invade three different people, you're going to need to talk to him again. Once you talk to him again, he'll give you a maiden's cloth in which you'll need to bloody. The closest and the easiest one that you're able to get to for the maiden to bloody it up and whatnot is going to be here at the Church of Inhibition. And the closest uh, grace should be the Bellum Church. All right, once you're at the Bellum Church, you want to, again, want to get to the Church of Inhibition. The best way to do this, from my experience, is to go across and you pretty much want to go up this path, wrap it all the way around, up through here, and then wrap and make it to the Church of Inhibition. I will say, <laughs> it's a little bit rough because there's this giant eye. It will mess you up. It causes madness. All right, so here's the Eye of Doom. As you can see, if he has a line of sight on you, he sucks. You want to break that line of sight. You're going to wait for him to calm down a little bit, and we're moving. We made it. Cool. Grab the grace bloody up your bad boy in here but once you're done with that you can teleport back way down here to the fallen ruins and we're gonna head back to the rose church you've made it back to the rose church congratulations talk to the homie again talk to him a bunch talk to him talk to him talk to him exhaust all of his options or his dialogue options until you receive an item that looks a little bit like the pure blood knight's medal and we use once you've arrived the first place is just going up the stairs and we're gonna hit the first grace point zoom zoom all right, so, gonna wanna run, run these stairs. Can't pull out your mount yet. It's not cool. No mounts allowed in this area. There'll be a bunch of zombies. There are also gonna be zombies that kind of jump out to you and they're like, blah, 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 and they explode and stuff. You just kind of run past them. You get a little bit of bleed. If you get stuck behind a zombie, you can just jump. It'll move them out of the way. Excuse me, pardon me. There's two more exploding zombie boys. Avoid them. And you're gonna wanna look straight down onto this tree and make the jump out of the tree. If you're nervous, just remember, Kami said you can do it. He believes. It's pretty, it's pretty forgiving. We're gonna hop on our mount, jump off this tree, and roll out. Now be wary, there is a, an invader. There is an invader that could pop up here. And if he does, I would suggest fighting it because doing this on, on foot is a little bit risky. But if you struggle on killing him, well then, you know, believe. Hug this right wall. And we're gonna come up to a ramp. We're gonna run past all the enemies. And this is when it becomes really, really hard to get through this last area if you do not have a mount because these bastards cartwheels spin they got spikes and stuff it's ridiculous but this is actually the location for the farm we made it get up here to this grace now there are guides out there that show you certain weapons you can use which you can go find them it allows you to pretty much line yourself up do a giant aoe attack kill like i don't know six to eight to ten of them but the great thing about this one is you can just run back so that means that gold pickled foul foot that we were farming for, that 30% extra runes, it's actually usable. You just want to kill all these little homies right here. You can do this with spells. It's honestly really easy with spells because they don't lock on. They don't, they don't care about you. I mean, they kind of do, but you kill them before they start caring about you. And once you pass this area, I think we can kill a couple more before we can aggro the guy. Yeah, we can kill these two right here. And this is of course just for ranged, right? But once we pass this area, it looks like that guy right there We'll start getting noticed. And he's like, hey, what's going on over there? And he'll start walking over to you slowly. But of course, with range, we can keep it. Kill this last one. And then head on back and reset. We're getting 2452 per kill. And then with the gold foul foot, it's like close to 3k. It's nuts. With melee, you can simply walk up to them. If you don't have the ability to AOE all of them, and just backstab them. 
And again, they don't really seem to care. They're just living their best life, you know? The last way you're gonna gain yourself the most amount of runes, I'm talking butt loads, is make sure you have a longbow or a crossbow equipped. Look down to the west where there's a pool. There'll be a bird padding back and forth. Shoot him in the butt. I said shoot him in the butt. Yes, that one's gonna hit. You know what's gonna hit. It hit, he's angry. He's coming after me and he's dead. He'll drop down into the cliff and you get yourself 17,000 runes. That's with the golden foot and the gold scarab enabled. I will say this, sometimes when you shoot them, they will not, he, he, he'll like start coming after you. I'm not a professional at this yet. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. That should hit. Sometimes he'll come after you and then he'll stop right there and he won't fall off. In that case, just reset it at the bonfire. Also, when you do hit them, don't waste your time looking at them. Just immediately go back to the bonfire. So as long as I can like hit this shot perfectly, come on, hit it. Come on. We just immediately go back to the bonfire. Get the grace, I'm at 406,000 runes, but you'll see when I come out, I'm at 423,000. That's it. There's your runes per hour. Congratulations, you did it. Wow, I believed in you the whole time. I'll be looking out for other videos to make, maybe going over some stats because some people might not know how to do that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Of course, let me know down in the comments while you're down there if you got any suggestions or things you want to see. This homie's heading out of here. Later, dude.